Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're looking at another image here from Petra at night. Uh, it's actually the Canyonland uh, before you get into the treasury and into Petra. So it's the cliffs that kind of squirrel and snake their way all the way to the treasury here. Um, but I figured we'd take a, a, another look at a previous image that we did before was this one here. Um, and now we're just going to do a couple more, uh, of kind of the same night scheme. Um, I figured these uh, would go good together as, as kind of a collection um, that we're editing. Maybe not that one, you gross. Maybe this one. But uh, for now, let's just kind of look at this one here. Let's just focus on this one. Um, so again, with uh, myself, I just kind of like like to look around real quick, make sure um, I know what I'm dealing with at first. Some of the areas that I might want to focus. Lunch bag! There's that damn lunch bag again, sitting in there. So we'll get rid of that. Trash can. Get rid of the trash can. Um, it's kind of weird, right? It looks like it's about to tip over. Uh, and I can't remember if that was... You know, that was all the trash cans in this canyon? Or if it's just this one random one that looks like it's going to fall over. Anyways. Trash can. Alright. Uh, so the first thing I guess I'll do is... Um, I don't like how it looks like I'm, I'm falling here, right? It looks like I'm heavily tilted. Uh, I was kind of, as I was walking out, I was on a, a, a tour group along with probably like four or five other people. And when you do this tour at night, uh, obviously you can, you can buy your own tickets. Um, but there's quite a few different tour buses that will actually show up here as well. Um, so I was like one of the last ones of, I don't know, 100 people, 150 people that showed up to this night show where they light up the canyon and uh, the treasury but I was one of the last ones out so I didn't want to keep them waiting so I was like rushing through as I was taking these photos so I had my little tripod out and um, I was just kind of walking fast walking fast I, I would see an angle and I would just plop down real quick on a knee and take the photo so um, I don't know if it was just like on an angle here in this pathway or whatnot, but either way, it, it feels like everything's tilting, right? So, I'm gonna kind of level it out. Just kind of looking down here, maybe these two lights as well. I feel like they're kind of on the same line, so I'll just kind of try to adjust, get it as close as possible. I'm not gonna be like too too anal about this I guess but I want it fairly straight that way the viewer you know you guys aren't completely thrown off by this um, so it's rotated I think that's pretty straight so I try to drag these out as much as possible show as much as I can um, it's kind of a, a feeling really kind of like seeing that light in the corner but at the same time uh, if I'm gonna cut this light out then it might be even if I just leave those two so maybe I cut that off I'm gonna show a little bit more up top I don't want it too skinny right because then that's kind of a, a weird aspect ratio Center is kind of here. Ideally, this should sit a little lower, I guess, but I think we're we're kind of close enough. I guess I can crop it up just a little and have those lights sit right on the ground there. Feels better. There's a nun here. Oops, didn't mean to close that out. Get it up just a little bit here. It's all the way up. That feels better. 
Wait, it doesn't look like you're tilted and you're like drunk walking your way out of this canyon. I mean, it was late. I was getting a little tired, but definitely wasn't tripping and falling all over myself. I had a bright light, anyways. Okay. So, with me, I always like to try to take the, the highlights down. Um, it directly affects this up here and these, these uh, candles down here. So, I'll take that down. I don't want to take down too much. I'm going to reintroduce some of it with the, the whites anyways. Shadows, kind of like to see more detail in there, so I'll bring that up. All the way. That might be too much. If the shadow's too much, you start introducing a, a ton of green here. It's a lot of money to get rid of as well, so I don't like going oops, wrong one, um, all the way up on shadows if I can stand it. Uh, 70. If I can type. 70. Good. I'll bring the whites out. Try not to blow this out too much right here. These are gonna be white specs anyways, but it is what it is. But I don't know. Uh, last thing I wanna go is like that, you know, that's so just a little bit that, that's gonna have some bright highlights on it anyway, so 15 maybe 20. Glitter but also brings it up here a little bit too. So if I did like a 30, you can kind of see it on that ridge there. But, you know, I don't want to do too much. I can always kind of dodge that later if I wanted to. So we'll look at 25. Uh, blacks, it probably won't touch because then it's just going to, like, do that weird contrast darkening thing. So that's not going to work for what I'm looking for. Um, Dehaze. Dehaze. A little bit. You know, it's always nice to give it just kind of like a little skosh. A little skosh. Clarity, I don't really get it into too much. You know, like gives that like weird contrast of the, the brights and the darks. And that just doesn't look natural at all. I suppose you can give it a little bit just to kind of give it like that little, little bump there. Um, but always very sparingly with that. Texture too, you know, you can you can go too much to where it looks like this weird bump map, and that doesn't look natural. It almost like makes it look dirty, right? Um, so none too much, you know. So again, same with the clarity. I just give it a little bit. Check my before and after. Make sure I'm not getting too far away. It's kind of interesting because it does bring up the detail in that like water mark. So uh, this area um, is actually flooded out a couple of times um, like with torrential rains. Uh, part of this tour they, they show you a video here and they explain how you know the ground can absorb the amount of rain that was coming in. It was just flowing in like the water just filled up this entire uh, canyon. And so you can see like some of the staining and things like that along the canyon. So it would, um, as it, the rain falls, it drips and flows over the sides here and then down the walls. They have a, um, uh, you can still see some of it here. This is how they like uh, brought water down into the, the city here. So as the water would fall along the cliffs here, it'd catch in this basin here. And this um, trough would go all the way down the canyon. Right, so it's it's downhill to the treasury, so it'd catch in here and it would go all the way down into the canyon line, which would be really cool. Not too much. That yeah, looks good. So we're gonna do some sharpening as it is in the mix. So I don't like doing too too much here. Um, kind of similar to the other one, I want to like bring the sky to make it look like it's a natural, more blue color, not this haze. It's really dusty out here. A um, little breeze that night, if I remember correctly, so definitely kicking up some dirt. Um, so what I'm going to do there, 
Uh, no, I want to do the your radio. So do. So I do a linear, right? It's going to, you know, go all the way across the canyon, both walls, and I want to get it down here without touching too much of the edge. Stretch it out. It's fine if it kind of like sinks in there a little bit. So the light is kind of bouncing, you know. So then I'll take the temperature down. Just reintroduce like bluish hint of color up here. And it, it's fine because it's it touches the tops of the canyon, if you can see that. But I think that's fine. It doesn't draw too much attention to it. Um, it looks natural. And higher up, you're not going to get as much of this lighting anyway. So, plus, it gives it a little nice little pop, little contrast. We get the nice warm oranges down here, yellows and things up here. So I think it's what we'll go with there. Close. Okay, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of things you can do in, in Lightroom. Um, I'm pretty straightforward with it. I don't think there's anything else I want to adjust here, at least at this point in time. Um, okay, so I like to go down here. Um, I usually take the sharpening off completely. Uh, I don't like sharpening in Lightroom. Uh, just because I am, it's like it's Photoshop. And, uh, I use a tool to learn to, to do that. But, uh, but the grain in here, a little bit of the grain, I'll take the movements up just a little bit. Again, I don't want to go too much because I'm going to get milky in here. Uh, so it could be definitely too much. Which introduces that a little bit back into it. And 25 color stuff to help get rid of some of these in here. Yeah. That works. So for after I'm kind of looking up here. Maybe a little too much on that, that filter. Drag it up a little bit. All brown. And there. Under like it better. Okay, love that. Rid of that. Thirty-five. Blow that out too much, but um, I kind of like how that draws the attention up there a little bit. So what you might do is just another radial. Just kind of reintroduce the uh, the light up here. Want it to fade. I'm just give it a little exposure here, not too much. Maybe a point six. More after. Uh, 
Ah, there you go. I like that better. Um, a lot of what I do is kind of just based on feeling for the most part. They see how that kind of like highlight, and you know, I'll dodge that again, maybe just to bring that a little bit more. But I kind of like how you can see that through the, the kind of crevice here. Blues in there. All right, that's that's where I'll go with this. I'm gonna take it into Photoshop and go from there. It's always interesting seeing the uh, little thumbnail picture that they put on Photoshop every time it opens up. Like that Captain Marvel, Marvel, kind of, not really, but you get what I'm saying? Similarities. Come on. Right. So I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I do when I get into Photoshop, I always create a new layer and uh, go away. So when I start uh, really, um, dude, uh, getting rid of all this stuff down here, let's do like a, a J, get my healing brush out, kind of get rid of this guy. Um, there's always different ways of getting rid of this stuff, right? Um, you'll meet one person and they'll be like, oh, you absolutely have to do it this way. Um, some people will. One of those things, right? Um, you don't do it a certain way, that's kind of the norm. People tend to chastise you sometimes. But uh, I say, you know, whatever works for you, um, works. Four after, four after. And what uh, it's all about, like, anything that you're making adjustments for, um, special effects or anything, right? It's like, it doesn't matter if it's the method that you use, as long as it works, right? And that's all I care about. If it works, it works. Go away, trash can. It's kind of interesting, though, as well, it's, it's you know, in landscape, it's kind of the same, um, what is it, stigma, I guess is the word, about, you know, what to remove, what not to remove from photos. Um, if I really wanted to say this is a absolute accurate documentation of the area, right, then I probably wouldn't want to Fuck that rock. Get rid of that completely. Um, because some tourist is going in there, they're gonna like have the expectations, right? That that have seen this on Instagram, they're like, oh, I can go there and see images like this, but in reality, you, you, you see a periodic trash can along the way, which, you know, makes perfect sense, right? People bring their own snacks and trash down here I'd rather than throwing it away in a trash can rather than just like throwing it all over the ground but uh, yeah it's um, Instagramable loca locations um, being honest with what really is there and what to expect when you're like recommending to go places um, that's why anytime I'm looking at um, places to go and I see something on Instagram which I don't know if you've noticed but Petra is all over Instagram um, I always take it with a grain of salt with, for what I'm seeing on Instagram because I know it's inherently going to be different and me as a landscape photographer you know 
I'm, I'm trying to capture the landscape and not necessarily the man-made stuff that's in there, right? Um, I'm leaving the lights in there, obviously, because that's the source of lighting of this this cave. But um, you know, with this view right here that I have, uh, I, I can't get rid of the, the trash can unless I try to frame it differently in the uh, in the camera. But it's just it's easy to get rid of, right? And it makes it look more natural and and better, right? I don't want to print a a big landscape photo that has trash can, you know, whatever like some of these things are, um, I don't know what that is, so it's a battle man, it's always a battle, um, somebody's gonna have one opinion over another and somebody's gonna say you can and cannot do one thing and others aren't gonna care what you do and yet some others are just going to, you know, make it as fantastical as possible to uh, simply get likes and get prints but really mislead people as well don't like all that Photoshop that look that look doesn't look real I suppose at least I'm not, um, you know, trying to do the liquify and make these look more rigid than they actually are, you know, so that's something. Maybe that's a comparison we should do, like, anybody that has in a similar location, has similar shots, um, especially in Petra, you know, they're gonna have like shots of the treasury, some of them, maybe the monastery, um, see the comparisons between uh, photographers and what they adjust, what they don't adjust, right? Um, are they adding more color effects? Are they adding detail into the photo that you may not see? No, I never really took the time to investigate that like comparison one to one to my photos. I just look at out of other people's photos and it's oh that's nice, oh that's cool. How do they do that? How do they get that angle? Things like that, you know, not necessarily is that real, is it not real? I guess you notice it more in people though. where we tend to get more judgmental is in people um, but you know marketing right cascades through all of that making things look better than they actually are and again this goes to back to what I was talking about before it's like in my mind my own I mind um, this is what I see right so when I'm taking a photo in the moment uh, I may see it a certain way I know my camera is gonna see it in a different way and I'm just trying to bridge the two gaps right so I might see when I'm taking the photo oh yeah I can get this color I can get uh, the dark blue in the sky um, and that's what I might see in, in my mind. My, my camera is going to capture, uh, you know, closer to this, or rather, back in uh, Lightroom, the original. Before, after, before, after. Always before, after, before, after. Um, and I had a vibrance to this as well. That's it. I want to like see what it looks like up top, which that gets ridiculous. Okay, that sucks. You know, sometimes you try some stuff, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that. Fuck it, just go with it. Yeah, that's right. 
before or after. Mm. I feel like it's missing a little something. Um, I always like to throw in a vignette. Um, stylistic choice, right? Some people hate net vignettes, some others do. Um, I do with the curve, but I feel like I want to bring more focus down into further into the canyon here, kind of on that cliff in the background. So I'm gonna like try to darken a little bit of the edges if I can. Not so much down here because of the lights, but it's kind of nice because it blocks them out. So, that up Triple. Four, after, four, after. It starts to add a little depth there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of exposure to the center as well. So again, I'm looking at this, uh, so I'm pointing at the screen like as if you can see me. Um, this clip in the background, like trying to draw focus, like lights it in here, but as you look up, it kind of goes up to that. So I'm gonna brighten this up quite a bit. I think it's is six five. It's starting to blow out there, but I'm gonna blend it. That's do the same mask, but I'm gonna invert it. Maybe that's too much. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Maybe. Tap, 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 then invert it. So the rest is darker, but that kind of center area brightens up a little bit. That, maybe. Kind of. And, um, four, after, four, after. Sort of feel the depth a little bit. I'm gonna try something. Um, you know, I, I always like trying a little bit of things and duplicate that layer a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a blur gallery. I'm gonna do a tilt shift on this. Again, I'm just trying to like draw focus to the center here. Right here. And keep uh, these right here. So all this will be in focus, and then I'm going to defocus kind of the outside edges here a little bit. A blur on the outside. That. So it's hard to tell initially. But if I do before, after, so like focus here, and here, before. After, before, after, before, you can kind of see it in the light. But I think that gives it just a little bit to where you're like drawn to the center here. Makes it feel deeper, you know? Um, and actually what we could do as well, let me just go back. I go back here and I do that same uh, filter. Do a tilt shift. So what I could do is make it even longer and make it very small focus in focus area, right? So pristine in focus is back here and then it fades out, right? So out of focus and starts fading into focus all the way down. So maybe that's our full on focus is right here. Edge, maybe I'll do that same 25. Go then. And before, after, before, after. Kind of like it. Yeah, see, so it's like drawing this all the way in here. So not only do you have the lights down here pointing up, but then here, it's like you look at the edges, it's out of focus, but you want to look at the sharp details down in the middle. 
Bye, 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 bye. We're staring, staring down the abyss here. Alright. So then what I'll do is I will sharpen the center here. So I'm going to zoom in 100%. Just kind of focus on what's going on in the cliffs here. This area here. My super duper splurn, uh, uh, splurn, flurn. Sharpening technique. And I change that to a soft light. Um, and I'm just focusing on the little details here. Again, you want to go to like just the edge where it's like too much. Um, so I'll do a couple of layers. Third layer, kind of increase the radius of that. Make a little broader stroke. Do it again. Uh, maybe one more time, but I'll do uh, an even larger stroke on this one. Uh, that's cool. I like to group these together and then before, after, before, after. And I might do another 1.5 just to see. Does maybe another one here. Yeah, we'll see how far we can take it without going too far. I think that's about it right there. You might ask about this grain. I'm actually not too concerned about it. Again, it like I'm zoomed in, so you might see it, but I'm not like overly concerned about it. I don't think it's gonna attract from that photo too much. It's all you're feeling, right? It's kind of your once you get out of the real world and you start getting into the editing process here, it's like it's kind of what you feel is right. And I like that. So, four after, four after. And just to make sure I don't accidentally sharpen anything on the edges where I did blur it, what I'm going to do is just add a mask here. And actually, you know, I'll just use my brush for it. do like a black here just straight down and black straight down that way the inside stays completely sharp and in focus here there we go bam 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 okay uh, last thing on the same copy, I'm going to do a little dodge. little dodge. Just bring out some slight more details. And we'll go boom over the lights here. Make the pathway seem just a little brighter. And then same with like this details and the rocks here. Watermark, right, right. Uh, I know you can do is like, like portraits, and I find that for these like little nature, right, you want to like show these details. The details is what makes nature cool, and which is kind of ironic, because you know. Portraits were all like, oh, get rid of all these imperfections. And nature, were like, oh, look at these, these imperfections. Yeah. That's it. Fine. I think that looks cool. Sick. Yeah. Here, too. Here. Just love that. Bam. Like it just gives a little something extra there. Alright. Before, after, before, after. Bam. That's done. I'm gonna call it good. I'm not gonna sit here thinking about this anymore. Um than what I already have. And I say that and I start playing with other things. 
Nope, nope. All right, done. Done, done, done. I'm going to save this out. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. But again, cool, super cool canyon um, as you're walking through it, especially if you allow all the people um, that go to this kind of light tour at the, at the treasury. It doesn't last very long. So if I give you any advice, uh, you know, on the way out, if you can like stick around the treasury for a little while and then just allow everybody to leave and then you can kind of walk alone down this, this, uh, this trail, you can, you've got your own light show. So you can kind of take some good photos here. Uh, I was in a rush, right? So I was trying to catch up back up to my group. So I didn't have a ton of time, but I got a couple of good shots out of it. So, you know, maybe if you're by yourself or you're, you're, um, you know, doing your own thing, maybe you can uh, get a few more shots than what I did. Um, just be careful. You might run into some of the, uh, the workers or the, the people that actually live in the city of Petra still that they live there illegally. They're not supposed to anymore, but they live there. Um, they might approach you asking you to take photos or um, throw you up on their Instagram or what have you. But uh, some of them are a little, a little sketch, but just be wary of that. Um, but yeah, super cool. Um, it's quiet I'm walking down this, this, this sea. So pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, thanks for the support guys. I will catch you in the next video. Um, I'll keep them coming as soon as I can, but, uh, I, I think we'll do one more quick video, um, kind of on the same Canyon and then maybe we can get into, uh, the actual, uh, Petra, uh, treasury and things of that nature. Um, I did some other edits of the, the treasury, um, probably a few nights ago, I guess last or a, a week ago. Um, and I didn't do any videos on those and, you know, but we'll, we'll get some actual shots of the, the treasury and, and, and not night tour, but the night tour is cool. If you actually go, um, everything's lit up. The treasury's all lit up. You'll see some photos come out on my Instagram and things like that of the, the, the night, um, of treasury. But, um, I will say that it's cool lit up, but the show is, is kind of lame. So we'll go in there with kind of low expectations. Um, it's not like a concert at night and they don't do like this grand light show or anything like that. It's just, everything's lit up. You can walk down there. Um, and then they do like a little, um, kind of like vocalizing, I guess. Uh, it only lasts for like 10 minutes. This whole show only lasts for like 10, maybe 15 minutes at most. And then they kick everybody out and they tell you to go home. <laughs> um, so it's like they're eager to get you in there. And then you got a couple of the workers that are like, oh, yeah, come upstairs. Come to the um, the cliff above. And, of course, you know, they're like, I know a secret way. I know a secret way. It's not that secret. It's just around the corner. Um, but they're, they'll guide you up there for a fee. Um, at night, they tend to get ridiculous with it. I think they were trying to, like, sell me on like 50 uh, uh was it rupees not rupees um jordanian dollars um they were trying to get like 50 jordanian dollars out of me which was ridiculous during the day they'll do it for the 10 um and i decided against it i ended up hiking the uh, the cliffs the next day to get the upper view anyways but uh i'm rambling guys so i'll let you go i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot guys take it easy